The next speaker is Louis Altamelli. He'll be followed by David Peroni. Good evening, Council. My name is Louis Altabelli. I live in the Rancho. Here to talk about consent item number four, global warming cap and trade agreement. Let me start off a little story. Tony Abbott is currently the Australian Prime Minister who won in a landslide election victory last year. And part of his campaign platform was that global warming climate change is absolute crap. And that cap and trade is a crony capitalist scam. Families paid on average annual electricity costs of $550 extra as a result of cap and trade. Tony Abbott stated that cap and trade is the biggest financial shakedown ever concocted, where an invisible, minuscule component of Earth's atmosphere, carbon dioxide, is traded as a commodity. And on Je July 17th this year, Tony Abbott kept a campaign promise and signed legislation that repealed cap and trade for the entire country of Australia. Cap and trade provides an outrageous opportunity for the state of California to steal from businesses, sock it to the consumer, expand welfare roles, and permanently institute crony capitalism and corporate welfare. All in the name of being green. Cap and trade has nothing to do with stopping global warming, and it shouldn't surprise anyone that the idea of cap and trade is a redistribution scheme that was first proposed by pinheaded masterminds at the United Nations. How well are cap and trade schemes working? Just look at the financially failed European Union. They launched their carbon market in 2005. As of the end of last year, the trading program had cost consumers over $300 billion and had zero impact on cutting carbon emissions, all while enriching the pockets of big business, select savvy investors, politicians, and bureaucrats. The staff report on this consent item number four states that there is no fiscal impact to the city. Yeah, it all rests on our shoulders. The residents pay for this. Paid at either the pump, at our, or through our electric bills, or increased costs of everything we purchase. This scheme is not free. It is my strong recommendation that you reject this cap-and-trade agreement that forces us to participate in such a corrupt, costly, non-transparent enterprise. The underlying basis for cap-and-trade is global warming. So if the Council rejects this cap-and-trade agreement, and in turn the state retaliates against us, then the council should instruct our city attorney to bring suit against the state of California and put global warming on trial. Make the state produce the empirical evidence of man-made global warming. And since we all know there is no such evidence, we win, they lose. End this reckless, irresponsible insanity by rejecting this agreement. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Altabelli.